He's brought us to the brink of nuclear war, obstructed justice at the FBI, and in direct violation of the Constitution, he's taken money from foreign governments and threatened to shut down news organizations that report the truth. If that isn't a case for impeaching and removing a dangerous president, then what has our government become? You've probably seen those ads on this network and elsewhere calling for the impeachment of President Donald Trump. After billionaire Tom Steyer first launched that ad campaign in October, a lot of people criticized him for promoting an idea that was, well, at the very least, impracticable. But as the president's behavior grows increasingly erratic, his rhetoric ever more destructive, the idea of impeachment grows as a real and a concrete possibility. Today, Ezra Klein of Vox.com argued at length that the time has come. We have grown too afraid of the consequences of impeachment, he writes, and too complacent about the consequences of leaving an unfit president in office. If the worst happens and Trump's presidency results in calamity, we will have no excuse to make, no answer to give. This is an emergency. We should break the glass. Impeachment, of course, requires a congressional decision. And today, one lawmaker, member of Congress, said he is bringing that option to the House floor. Mr. Speaker, I don't know what the vote will be, but I do know this. Next week, there will be a vote to impeach. Congressman Al Green of Texas joins me now. You're in the minority, of course, sir. Um, how do you make that happen? Well, thank you for having me on, Chris. Uh, if I may say this, uh, I love my country. And this is being done out of love for the country. Uh, it will happen because each member of Congress has the right to bring a privileged resolution before the House. And it will be acted upon. It can be tabled, it can be voted up or down, or it can be sent to committee. Uh, it is my hope that we will have an opportunity to vote it up or down. But I will vote to impeach, which means that I will not vote to table, I will not vote to send to committee. I will vote to impeach Donald Trump if given the opportunity to by way of an impeachment vote. Either way, this, it will come before the House and there will be a vote next How week. How many votes? My sense is you, we, you and I have talked about this before. There's been some back and forth. Leadership doesn't like this idea for whatever reason. I think they think the politics of it are disadvantageous. Um, how many votes are there for impeachment in the Democratic caucus right now? I don't know because I haven't whipped, I haven't polled. What I've done is what I believe is best for my country. Uh, I believe that this is not about the Democratic leadership or the Republican leadership. I've said before that it's about democracy. It's about our government. It's about the opportunity to salvage the republic. It's about a president who is unmindful of the high duties of his high office uh, to the extent that he has brought disrepute and shame upon the presidency to the manifest injury of the American people. When this happens, impeachment is an option. It is an option that was contemplated by the framers of the Constitution. Alexander Hamilton in Federalist 65 speaks of this, and it doesn't have to be a crime. And I think that we finally got that message out to the American public that a president doesn't have to commit a crime to be impeached. As a matter of fact, Andrew Johnson was impeached in 1868 for a high misdemeanor. A misdemeanor is a misdeed. I believe that this president mm. has committed misdeeds that would require someone to take a stand. My constituents and the people I represent, they expect me to eliminate the hate that he perpetrates. He is consistently doing things that are harmful to the fiber and fabric of this country. With his latest tweets and those three videos and uh, most of the information being inaccurate, not any remorse, doesn't say I made a mistake. And remind, remember this now, Chris, this is the president who has the greatest access to intelligence of any person on the planet. He doesn't vet these things before he does them. He simply chooses to do things that are harmful to this country and now to the world because other countries are seeing it as well. So we're going to take up the hate agenda. I think a president can be impeached for perpetrating hate. Um, what I hear from you, which is a fascinating idea, is basically that impeachment doesn't have to be a sort of criminal conviction on a crime, but is a political remedy for 
for, for offense and for deep unfitness. And that's the argument that Ezra Klein makes in this Vox piece is exactly this. I want to read this quote to you and see if you agree with him. He says, it is a principle that sounds radical until you say it, at which point it sounds obvious. Being extremely bad at the job of president of the United States should be enough to get you fired. Is that your theory of impeachment? Well, being extremely bad at the job to the extent that you create harm uh, to the American society. Yes, that would be it. If you create harm such that the society that we live in is um, going to uh, have what I will call close to irreparable injury, if not irreparable injury, then of course you can impeach a president. And this was contemplated. This is, uh, impeachment was designed for a time yeah. such as this and a president such as Trump. Congressman Al Green, thanks for your time. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.